Hello everyone, and now the moment you've all been waiting for. Google Warehouse. Very important for us to know that we need to be able to return at any time to what it is that we built ourselves. And we're going to do this by adding layers. So go to Window Layers and use the plus button here to add a new layer. You can call it a 3D Warehouse. You may have different things in the 3D warehouse, like people, buildings, that sort of thing. You may want to layer it even more, but I'm just going to create a 3D warehouse layer here and make sure that I'm on that layer when I start importing. Let's go over here to this button. Many of you have already looked in here, and let's just look for medieval stuff. If I just do a search for medieval, what kind of things are going to show up? Well, castle walls, entire buildings, towers, spires, people. So here's medieval Susan. Let's add her. You can see that there's been 130 downloads. It's been there for a little while already, um, and she is pretty plain. But when we download this, we can download it and load it directly into our SketchUp model or you can download it and then add it later. It is nice to have those different models so that you could share them with other people. But for this demonstration, we're just going to insert her directly. Now you can see that size-wise, she's a realistic size person. Now I'm going to go down here and it says that on face. So if I zoom in and take a look, there she is. Now like most models, she is grouped together. In fact, I think that's how they have to come in. And if you want to change something, then you need to explode her sometimes more than once in order to get to the different parts of her clothing. So if we decided, hey, I want her to have a different color dress, we could color her in there and again color her dress a different one. So let's see, so we can make that one color. Nope, that needs to be exploded again in order to change. So you can see that she is flat and she doesn't spin like our original person. So this is not a fantastic model to put in the middle of our castle. Maybe she could stand up against the wall. Well, let me see if I can group her together again. Right click and group. And then maybe I'll be able to move her. Now this is where using models and importing them into the 3D warehouse can get a little tricky. I'm going to try and move her over to the side. Moving and rotating tends to get really, really dicey here. So you might want to put her somewhere where you cannot see the back side of her. Rotating, if you haven't tried it already, can be tricky. I'm just going to try and rotate her. Whoops. Make sure, yeah, I don't want to get her. So maybe rotate her a little bit and then move her so she's a little closer to the wall. So now we have a person in there. Let's try something else. What else can we find? How about animals? Um, I believe some of us have stables. So if I look for a horse, there's a whole bunch of different horses. A Trojan horse, Roman cavalry. So finding one that will work nicely for your stable can be a little challenging. Please remember that um, these can be exploded and sometimes you can take just a part of a horse. Here's a nice horse right here. I tried this one earlier. It's a 2.3 megabytes, so fairly large. And if we import that, you can read all of this, you'll notice that he is bigger than the entire castle, or at least the model is. So I'm going to zoom out and place him over here so he's not interfering and explode him so that then I can select just the horse, move him over here out of the way, and then promptly get rid of. Well, actually, this little well is kind of nice, too. Whoops, I rotated. I just want to move him over there. Okay, well, I don't need this ground here, so let's see what we have. First, the well. Obviously, need to scale. So you can scale by grabbing a corner. If you grab something else, you might change the shape of it. So you can make it fit the way that you want to. Um, control Z, undo is your friend. If you hold down control again, it scales towards the center, and that's pretty handy. Hitting move again, 
And now getting it into position is the fun part here. So I'm going to get it closer, zoom in, look from the edge. It should tell me when it's on the face. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is where you're going to have to spend some time. Let's scale that down a little more. It's still awfully big. It's going down into the ground there. So I'm going from the corner, move. And you want to get close to it and from the side if you want to move it up. That's the tough part. So see how um, I have a blue dotted line that's showing me that I'm moving it up and down. Then if I want to move it sideways, I've got red axis and it tells me red axis. So there it is moved out of the way. How about the horse? Again, this is a great way to get a tall view. And it's the giant horse. All right, so let's scale him down first. Scale down, zoom in, hit the move tool, move him over here, and put him in our castle. Nope, he's up in the air. So I'm moving and trying on the blue axis till it says uh, on the face. Yeah. So you can kind of get them into position. Now, as I've done these things, Remember, we did this on layers. So I can turn the 3D warehouse layer, whoops, I have to be on the other layer, and turn it, all right, let me see. I'm on this, oh, you have to actually select it. Then you can turn the warehouse layer on and off. If you cannot do this, I will make you start over with importing into the 3D warehouse. So make sure that you have a, a castle saved, and then maybe save as, as I should have done at the beginning here, uh, with 3D Warehouse as part of the name, so we know, okay, now this is the enhanced version. You've gone out and found some cool things and put them in there. That's the basics of how to do that. Again, if you don't have it as a layer that can be turned on and off, then you got trouble. Another thing that you may use this layers for is the ceilings on your building. You could put them on a, on a layer just for roofs and turn the roofs on and off so you would be able to look inside the buildings, turn the roofs back on, have the view of the castle looking nice. So that is the basics of 3D Warehouse, exploding what you find there, selecting out the pieces you want, moving and rotating them maybe even changing their textures and colors as we did with her dress. All right, I know you've been looking forward to this. I can't wait to see what you've done. By the end of Friday, please upload your final castle versions to your Google Drive so I can sit at home and go poking around and see what you've made.